It is great to see a creator. This video is going to review how to set up song lyrics in OBS. We're going to go over two ways to do it. We'll review the features and benefits of both. You're going to love the detail and the ease of this tutorial. Let's get some. If you're new to this channel, I want to welcome you. You can think of me as a video software technology explorer. I'm always uncovering new software techniques in my tutorials to broaden your horizons in regards to making your videos more cool and more engaging. If this is something that interests you, subscribe and click the bell for new video notification every single week. Let's go. Okay, the first method that we're going to install is the LuaScript method that can be found on the OBS forums website. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in the word OBS lyrics into Google, hit enter, and scroll down until you see this one link, OBS lyrics, OBS forums. Click that, and it will put you on the right page, but on the wrong tabs. It defaults to discussion. Where I want you to go is the overview tab, just so that you can read the how to use text if you like and you can download the program by clicking the white button in the upper right hand corner. So click that and download the source code zip file. That's what you want to download to your computer. Hit save and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, upon downloading the zip file, expand it so that you can see the contents and the file of importance is the lyrics.lua file. This is what powers the program and we need to install it into the right place so that it can, it can be used by OBS properly. So copy that file, control C, go into OBS and click tools and select scripts. Now click the plus sign in the lower left hand corner and what we're doing is we're understanding where to put this thing and as you can see it defaults to a location on your C drive which is bullets, program files, OBS-studio, data, OBS-plugins, front end dash tools and scripts. That's where we need to put this thing so that we can select it for use. So let me do that now. I'm going to go into my C drive. I will go into program files, scroll down OBS dash studio, data, OBS dash plugins, front end dash tools, scripts, and then control V for paste. Boom. We're done. Okay, briefly, let's go back to the contents of the zip file. I want to bring your attention to the readme.md file. If you double click that and take a look at it, the how to use instructions will be covered in this video, so you really don't have to worry about that. But I do want you to take a look at things to know. Take a look at the append pound, pound, pound to the end of the line to display it by itself. Use forward slash forward slash to write a comment that will not display to your viewers. These little tips are important to know, so review those. And I also want to bring to light the person responsible for creating this script. His name is Amirchev, and he has spent all this time programming the script so that you can enjoy it. Look at all the work that he's done in this scripting language. It's quite remarkable. I want to tell you, thank you so very much for the hard work, Amirchev. It means everything to us. We love you, brother. Thank you so very much. And if you feel the same way, why don't you go into comments at the Blue website that I just referenced earlier. Chime in and tell him how much you appreciate all his hard work on the script. This Lewis script is a time saver because all you have to do is copy all your lyrics and paste it into the script and then hit a hotkey and the script will take a look at the block of text and only reveal the amount of lines that you tell it to show. The other way of approaching this is to create cells and paste in the one, two, or three lines of text that you wish to show, and then you advance from one cell to the next. That's the version two that we'll be reviewing, so if you're interested in doing it that way, stay tuned, we're gonna talk about it. But this method is superior because you don't have to create those individual cells. It's a time saver, okay. Okay, let's open up OBS for the first time, and we will go to tools, sub choice, scripts and select the plus sign in the lower left hand corner and select lyrics.lua. We'll hit open and here is the interface for the first time. You can see all kinds of crazy parameters. Don't let that bother you too much. We'll get through this. Song title is anything you want in regards to the lyrics that you're posting. In this case, we're going to use the marine hymn. So I will type in marine song. Now we have to paste the lyrics in here. So I've already gotten them set up. I'll go into my uh, explore here and find it. Where are we? Here we go. It's in here. Anthem lyrics. Here we go. Marine Corps lyrics. And they look good. No spaces, no funky characters, just periods. Looks good. I will copy this. 
And I will go back into OBS and paste it into the lyric field. Paste. And now I will click Save Song. Good. Now the next thing that we want to do is create a text to apply this function to it. So go back into OBS. So I'll close out of here. Go back into your main OBS. Click the plus sign in Sources and select Text GDI. And we will type in the word lyrics, just to remind us, hit OK. And just you can type anything in the text field because it will be replaced by the lyrics. Select the font and type in size of 100. Now you may want to change the size of this after you see the lyrics appear for the first time, but for now we'll just type in 100, hit OK. You can also change the colors. You can make, you can put two colors applied to your text. You can also outline your text with different colors, all kinds of neat stuff, but we won't worry about that right now. As long as you understand it's possible, we'll hit OK. All right, so the, the source that represents the text is called lyrics. Now right click on the word text, and this is important now. Select transform and edit transform and select positional alignment of center. I repeat, this is extremely important. If you don't do this, you won't see it and you'll be like, no, why? It's just one of those things that you have to remember to do. Hit close. Okay, so now the text is looking good. Go back into tools, go into scripts and scroll down and designate the text source of the name that we just created. In this case, it was lyrics. Now I don't see it right now because the system can't automatically show you what you created. You have to click the refresh key. And sometimes it goes away when you click it. Don't let that scare you. Go back into tools, go back into scripts again. And now when you click the text source pull down, lyrics appears. So I repeat, when you click that refresh button, don't get freaked out when the screen goes away. That's if it does, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Just go back in and then select the text source. Okay, we're looking good. Now, after doing that, all you have to do is click prepare song and then click show hide lyrics. And as you can see, it shows up in the preview screen. And the next step is to designate your hotkeys to advance the next set of lines. And before I move on, I wanna let you know also that there is a parameter that shows you lines to display. So you can tell the system to display three lines. Here, I'll move the screen over so you can see what I'm doing. Four lines, five lines, as many lines as you want. But in most cases, I think it would be two in most cases. So I'm gonna bump it back down to two. Hit close. And now we can start to set up our hotkeys. In other words, we're going to assign commands to our keyboard to advance to the next two lines. Here we go. Go into your OBS, click settings, then click hotkeys. And if you scroll down from the top, you will see advanced lyrics, go back lyrics, show hide lyrics, prepare next and prepare previous. So adv advanced lyrics, I would recommend that you hit the forward arrow on your keyboard. And then for go back lyrics, I would recommend you hit the back arrow. Show hide lyrics. Um, I'm going to put, let's see, show hide lyrics. I think I'm going to do the H key. And prepare next will be, let's see, the J key and prepare previous will be the K key. These can be anything that you want, okay? It's purely up to you. I'm just sort of shooting from the hip in regards to what I'm selecting right now just to show you. I will hit apply and okay. Okay, now I wanna cover how to add a new song and it's not clearly evident, but when you understand it, it's very easy. I wanted to chime in real quick and provide some clarity. The program allows you to store multiple lyrics. So what we're doing now is setting up a second lyric so that you can choose from either one down the road. Highlight the existing title and type in the new title of your song. In this case, it's gonna be amazing. Grace, add your lyrics. Here they are here. Control A, Control V for paste and then hit save song. Now, when you click save song, if, if you notice here in the preview window, the lyrics from the previous song are still there. And the reason why is you have to click some buttons. First and foremost, you have to click clear prepared song, then click prepare song, and then click show hide lyrics and boom, there it is. So these three buttons, I hold up my three fingers, these three buttons here, okay, are required to switch the songs. So you have to hit the clear button, 
the prepare button, and then the show hide button. Three buttons to switch, okay? In part two of this video, I'm gonna provide a link that you can click that will take you to the next video that will explain how to use Google Slides. And what you do is you break up your lyrics into two or three line sections, put them in individual slides, and then when they move from one slide to the next with a keystroke, your lyrics will slide in with animation capability. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna use green screen, and, and I look forward to explaining it to you with the next video coming right up. I'll present that link right now as I sing the Marine Corps hymn using the hotkeys and showing you the lyrics in action. Here we go. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we fight our country's battles on the land as on the sea. First to fight for right and freedom and to keep our honor clean. We are proud to claim the title of the United States Marines. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 